Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Today's a huge day. It's something that I've been waiting for for quite a while. We are finally getting to see the new DC movie, Blue Beetle. I am so pumped about this because today we're actually going to be seeing it at the IMAX headquarters for a special screening of it in IMAX. And on top of that, the director, Angel Manuel Soto, will be there as well. So that's so awesome. We're going to be able to go to that today. Shout out to Collider. They do their screening series where they have some different films that they do show and they allow people to sign up for free screenings. And so we've already gotten to see movies like Strays and Gran Turismo recently and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles a little bit early. So definitely really cool and I'm excited to see Blue Beetle. Plus, it's my first time being able to go to IMAX headquarters, so that's going to be really exciting as well. And overall, I'm just really pumped for this movie. I am cheering for the entire team over at DC right now. As a big DC fan, I want to see them succeed. I think this director is really, really exciting. And also, I'm a huge fan of Zolo Maraduena from Cobra Kai, so I'm excited to see him now as a superhero in the DC universe. But since we have a little bit of time before the actual event starts, I thought we might as well do a little bit of Funko Pop hunting for some Blue Beetle Pops. And the film does come out this weekend, so I think if people go out and see it and they enjoy it, a lot of these pops might be a little bit harder to find. So let's see if we can go out and grab some before they sell out. So we're gonna head over to the mall and stop at a few stores like Hot Topic, GameStop, Box Lunch, and see if we can find any pop for Blue Beetle. So let's not waste any more time, guys. Let's head out there. And let's get hunting. And we are here at the mall, and our first stop is going to be GameStop. And it does look like they do have some new figures. They do have the 10 inch Sentinel with Wolverine along with 10 inch Mando. And they do have the new movie posts, which are really cool Indiana Jones and Peter Pan. They also have some of the comic covers with Spock, Green Lantern, and Shazam. I really do like that Shazam. They do have some six inch pops of Mount Lady and Descartes from Trigum. That's a new one I haven't seen. They have Short Round from SDCC, and we ran into our first Blue Beetle Pop, the Glow in the Dark GameStop one. I absolutely love that mold. They also have a bunch of the Witcher figures, and then it looks like down here, they do have a sign that says Sale. I wonder what that is. Looks like we were able to run into Jaime Reyes, so another one we were able to check off for the set. They also have some Trios of Horror figures, Rita Repulsa from Power Rangers SDCC, the Metallic Flash, and an interesting one here says The Exorcist, this is Reagan from The Exorcist. That's an older one. And here is a GameStop exclusive Blue Beetle Scarab. It is a magnet, but it does look pretty cool. Another stop is gonna be over at Hot Topic, and they also have a ton of figures on the wall. Looks like they have the Goku in Krillin from Anime Expo, a few different Indiana Jones pops, some My Hero Academia, Trailer Park Boys, Gardens of the Galaxy, some other My Hero Academia, I do like this Deku pop. Hot Topic does have a new pop of the week, which is Haikuyu exclusive. I have absolutely no idea about the show. They do have some sodas back here. I see a Jaime Reyes soda. Let me move this out of the way. And there's also a Conrad Carapac soda. And then there's also Ron Swanson. First time ever seeing the single bitty pop packets that is for disney they also have the disney princess packs and we ran some more blue beetle here's conrad carapax the pop version definitely looks pretty nice they also have a new michael jackson first time ever seeing this one in person and our final stop is going to be over at box lunch and the amount of pops they have here is definitely crazy as well looks like they got a lot of different restocks but they do have some new sodas of Isabella Magic Golf from Encanto and Carapax from Blue Beetle. They do have some other new pops like Sarah from Hocus Pocus 2. They got Tyree Kill, MTV Moon Person, Zero, Jeff Gordon. They also have Mary from Hocus Pocus 2. They got a restock of Poodle Groot along with Naruto eating noodles, which is a box lunch exclusive. They got a bunch of new My Hero Academia figures in like Mount Lady, Fat Gum, Tenya Ida, there's the Katsuki Bakugo, and a ton of other ones. They still have the exclusive Chef Snoopy, which I do want to get one of these days, along with the Werewolf and Elsa Bloodstone from Werewolf by Night. This absolutely adorable Eggo Waffle from the Ad Icons line, that is a pretty cool one I might want to get someday. They also have the other new Michael Jackson pop here, along with Rob Zombie. There's Carlo Winslow from Family Matters. Kamiko from The Boys. I've been waiting for this set to come out, so it's awesome to see that here. And over in the clearance section, they have a ton of the Chef Colette sodas, which was a box lunch exclusive. I guess they had a lot left over. Now it is time for the event. We are inside IMX Headquarters C Blue Beetle. This place 
case is absolutely beautiful. They have a couple goodies for us, like some pins and some cool hats. Going up the stairs, I love that IMAX logo like Avengers Endgame. They got the famous IMAX sign in the background. They got a couple promotional things like Oppenheimer, Dune, and Spider-Man No Way Home posters. Check this out. It says right here, an IMAX film camera. This was actually used by Christopher Nolan shooting Oppenheimer. Man, this thing is so cool to see in person. And we are about to get ready to go in and see Blue Beetle. Here is the IMAX poster. Really liking that. And they even have some goodies for us. They have some water, some popcorn, and a bunch of different snacks for us to have. They are treating us good. And we saw the movie and afterwards they did have Angel Manuel Soto come out and be interviewed. It was really cool seeing him, hearing his questions. Very thoughtful guy and he really loves this character and this movie. And we even got the chance to meet him afterwards. Check out the photo. And guys, we are back home and man, that was a pretty crazy day. Pretty fun going out, doing a little bit of Funko Pop hunting for some Blue Beetle stuff. We were not able to find all of the Blue Beetle Pops because we could not find the common one. And then of course, there's also the Chase. There are some other exclusives like the Target exclusive Glow in the Dark along with a Funko Shop exclusive. I don't think I'm gonna order the Funko Shop one and I did not go over to Target today, but I think we picked up some really awesome figures. And on top of that, we were able to get a couple other surprises that we were able to get at the IMAX headquarters during the event. So why don't we start by taking a look at a couple of the pops I was able to pick up during our hunting. And the first one that we have here is the villain of the movie. This is Conrad Carapax. We were able to find this one over at Hot Topic a pretty cool looking pop and after seeing the movie i do kind of enjoy this character a little bit more he is pretty badass in the film although i don't think he's going to be a super memorable villain the suit does look pretty cool and it does translate well to pop form and i do like the pose that they have him in where he's kind of like on an angle kind of flying up you don't see that a lot usually they're just kind of flying up straight but the fact that he's on an angle is pretty cool they have his center kind of display where it shows a little bit of a v doesn't quite look like that as far as the eyes and the mask in the movie but still the metal and the armor all around it does look pretty cool and i do like a lot of the detail they put in to this figure then over at gamestop we were able to pick up another figure this one is Jaime Reyes, definitely a cool one, and it does look like Zolo Maraduena, which of course I'm a huge fan of from Cobra Kai, so it's really awesome now having the pop in my collection that looks just like him. And I really did like Jaime Reyes in this movie. I think he's a super likable character, and I think he's going to be a fan favorite to a lot of people. And although the pop is just a people pop, there are a couple more details in it, including the scarab that he is holding in his hand, kind of when they first discover it after opening it up. They did show that part in the trailer, but the rest of the figure is definitely looking just like Jaime Reyes does in the movie especially with the hair. And then, like I said, there is a common version of Blue Beetle you can see on the back. Unfortunately, we do not have it in quite yet. And there's also a chase to go along with that that is glow in the dark. Now, I was able to pick up one more figure, but I'm gonna hold off on that because there's definitely a really cool story to go along with that pop. So instead, I'm actually gonna show off a couple things we were able to take home from the event. It was really awesome being able to go to IMAX headquarters in general. That's my preferred way to watch movies. So being able to go to one of their headquarters was definitely really, really special. And I wish I got more footage inside. I just wanted to be respectful to the team that worked there. I didn't wanna snoop around. And they did have a couple things for us to take home courtesy of Warner Brothers as a thank you for coming to see the movie, including this hat right here, which is this Blue Beetle baseball cap. Cool little logo there. It doesn't have anything on the back. It does look like it was kind of just stitched on there pretty thin. So it's an all right hat. Doesn't fit perfectly, but I think, you know, it's still enjoyable. How do I look in it? Now I can rep my Blue Beetle fandom. And then they also gave us this pin right here. This is the Blue Beetle Scarab, which is definitely a pretty cool pin. But the coolest thing was that after the film ended, they did a Q&A with the director Angel Manuel Soto, which I'm definitely a huge fan of now. He is a super nice guy. He actually went out into the lobby and met a bunch of fans that were there. I even got to get a photo with him. 
and even better, he actually signed a Funko Pop that I picked up earlier in the day. This is the GameStop exclusive Glow in the Dark Blue Beetle. And take a look at that, guys. It is signed by Angel Manuel Soto. That is so cool. And what's even better about this is that GameStop actually had a sale for $10 on almost all of their Funko Pops going on right now. I think for at least the next few days. So we were actually able to pick this up for $10 plus get it signed. What a steal. But just to give you a look at the figure, it's really a detailed figure. I love the suit on Blue Beetle, both in this pop and in the movie. I think it's so cool that it's practical and there's so many great details on this figure. He even has the pinchers coming out the back. And then he has like the cannon arm or like the pulser, I believe he called it in the movie where he's actually shooting something out of it. Super cool detail there. And then he is in a great stance, kind of on one knee as well, kind of reaching out with his other hand. And I love the way that the face looks with the mouth and the eyes on the figure. Definitely one of the coolest and most detailed DC figures we have gotten recently. Now the glow in this pop is nothing too crazy. Really, it's just the cannon that's glowing that light blue color. So again, nothing too crazy, but the mold is still amazing. So there we have it guys, there's our look at our Blue Beetle Funko Pop hunt and our visit over to the IMAX headquarters to see Blue Beetle in IMAX and on top of that being able to meet the director Angel Manuel Soto. It was such an amazing day and experience. Hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at our little journey adventure here today. I definitely recommend you go check out Blue Beetle this weekend in theaters. It is a really big deal being able to see some of these characters on screen like Blue Beetle, Jaime Reyes, but also the representation it is truly an authentic Latin American story. And it's really important to have this type of representation, especially in the comic book genre. We don't get a lot of these types of stories told. So definitely make sure you go out and support if you are interested in seeing Blue Beetle. I really enjoyed the film. As of right now, I would say it's the best DC movie to come out this year. I know it's only the third one, but I do think I enjoyed it more than The Flash and more than Shazam! Fury of the Gods. And I do really want to see Blue Beetle continue. They did end the movie off, no spoilers, but in a way that Jaime can continue on in the new DC Universe. And I do want to see some follow-ups to some different characters and different kind of plot that they did leave crumbled towards the end of the movie. So make sure you go ahead and check out Blue Beetle in theaters so we can see more. And really more importantly, I want to see some of these actors be able to continue to portray these characters. Like I said, I'm a big fan of Zolo Maraduena and the fact that he finally got his chance to break through in such a big role as Blue Beetle in a big DC movie. And now with the SAG and WGA strikes both going on, which is a big deal in Hollywood right now, I do think they are fighting the good fight. They are trying to fight for better wages, better pay, better protection, better health care for actors and for writers. I wholly support that. But at the same time, I do want to make sure that when these actors and writers do come back after striking that right deal, that they get a chance to continue to try to portray some of these characters that we have been waiting to see. So I'm just rooting for the cast and the writers and all the creatives behind these projects to be able to get a chance to follow up on their visions. So I'm definitely gonna be seeing it again. Hopefully I see some of you guys out at theater checking out Blue Beetle. But now I do wanna throw it over to you guys. What do you think about our little Blue Beetle Funko Pop hunt today and everything that we were able to bring back from the IMAX event. Are any of you planning on going to see Blue Beetle this weekend? Or maybe did you already see it? What were your thoughts on the movie? I would love to hear about all that in the comments down below. And of course, if you guys have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also leave a like on this video as well if you enjoyed it. And of course, you can always hit that bell to be notified whenever we have new videos drop. But thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.